Welcome to the free anesthetic tutorial podcast. Hi guys, today we'll be doing a number of topics around the vacuum insulated evaporator. We will include components and the schematic, a basic description, we will cover some basic definitions, we'll look at what happens when demand drops, what happens when demand increases, how to calculate cylinder content, some advantages, disadvantages, and at the end, a summary. The vacuum insulated evaporator, or VIE for short, is used as a storage facility for medical oxygen. It is a large stainless steel tank insulated by a vacuum to around minus 160 degrees centigrade with an outer carbon shell. It rests on a weighing scale. The VIE is the primary method of storage in larger hospitals. It is kept at a temperature between minus 160 degrees centigrade and minus 180 degrees centigrade. At these temperatures and a pressure of 700 kilopascals, the oxygen is stored in a liquid form, allowing more efficient use of storage volume available. Oxygen has a critical temperature of negative 118 degrees centigrade, so it is mandatory the oxygen be cooled below this to be stored as a liquid. The VIE relies on minimization of conduction and convection of heat into the chamber, causing only a small amount of heat to enter. This heat causes vaporization of liquid oxygen, which, via the principle of latent heat va of vaporization, causes a cooling effect on the remaining contents of the VIE. The optimum pressure in the VIE is around 700 kilopascals. If the oxygen use of the hospital were to suddenly undergo a large downturn, the pressure in the VIE would rise, potentially risking an explosion. To prevent this, it has a pressure relieving valve which will vent oxygen to the atmosphere at pressures above this. If demand goes up, increase in vaporization of large quantities of oxygen Keep it in the liquid phase, which reduces the supply to the hospital. In this event, an electronically controlled valve allows liquid oxygen to enter an evaporator coil called the superheater. This exposes the liquid oxygen to atmospheric temperature, causing vaporization of the oxygen to the useful gaseous form. The oxygen can then be pumped to hospital supplies via pipeline at a pressure of 400 kilopascals. The amount of oxygen remaining in the VIE is calculated from its mass. The mass of the empty cylinder, also known as the tear weight, is subtracted from the measured weight of the cylinder with the difference being the mass of liquid oxygen remaining. VIE is a very useful mechanism for storing oxygen. It has some advantages. It does not require a source of power. It is highly efficient in terms of space compared to storing oxygen as a gas. The VIE also has some disadvantages. It's a high initial cost of equipment. It must have a backup cylinder supply. And it might be inefficient if low demand means that significant amounts of oxygen are being vented to the atmosphere. It may also present a fire risk and should be cited appropriately. In summary, the vacuum insulated evaporator is safe, it is efficient, it is a good source of oxygen storage for larger hospitals. We thank you for watching this video. We would be very grateful if you could give us feedback, if you could subscribe to our channel and if you could ask us for other videos that you feel would benefit your revision. Thanks again.